Welcome back to machine learning tutorial. In this video, I will discuss what is the definition of machine learning with examples, why machine learning is so popular and what are the different applications of machine learning. Before we go to the definition of what is machine learning, you just ask yourself a very simple question. Can I recognize this particular image? The answer will be yes in that case. Similarly, ask one more question. Can I recognize this particular animal? Again, the answer is yes. The reason is very simple. Over a period of time, starting from our childhood, our parents, teachers, brothers, sisters, everybody has shown such kind of images to us. And they told that whenever you see such kind of images, you have to recognize this image as either tiger or this one should be recognized as lion and so on. The meaning is over a period of time, our brain has been trained in such a way that whenever you see such kind of images, it should be classified as a lion. In such cases, it should be recognized as the tiger. So this is the underlying principle of machine learning also. Over a period of time, we need to collect the data and that data we have to give as an input to the system. The system will learn from that particular data. Once it learns from that particular data, the model can be used to classify the new examples in future. That is the main idea behind machine learning models. Now we will try to see the definition of uh, machine learning. Many authors have given uh, different uh, definitions for uh, machine learning. This is one such uh, definition. Learning is a process by which the system improves its performance from experience. That is nothing but uh, machine learning is not something different. It is a process by which the learning system will improve its performance by the experience. So initially we will give some inputs to the system. It will learn something and uh, as and when you go on giving some new experience to that particular system, the performance of that particular system will go on improving. If it improves, you can say that the system is learning. Otherwise, the system is not learning. I'll take one more definition. Uh, art Machine learning is a branch of uh, artificial intelligence concerned with uh, design and development of uh, algorithms that allow computers to evolve behaviors based on empirical data. Again, it is a similar definition. Only thing is it has been put in different words. It's a branch of artificial intelligence. Uh, it concerned with the designing and development of an algorithm, maybe a different models over here that allows system or a computer to improve its performance based on the past data or the experience. That's nothing but the machine learning all about. There is a famous definition of machine learning exists, uh, which was given by Tom Michel in 1998. He described this particular machine learning with uh, three keywords. One is uh, performance, second one is task and third one is experience. According to Tom Michel, the machine learning is a process where the system improves its performance P for a particular task T with experience E. So whenever you design a machine learning model, it cannot be designed as a general model. It should be a, for a particular task. So for a particular task, you can say that the system is learning through experience. If the performance goes on increasing or improving, if uh, you provide more and more experience to that particular thing. So this is the famous definition of machine learning exists and it was given by Tom Michel in 1998. Now we will take uh, some examples to understand this particular definition. Let us take an example of handwritten digit recognition problem. So here uh, we have been given some set of uh, handwritten digits. Uh, we will give this as an input to the system and system will learn from this particular thing. And in reality, it has to recognize the new uh, digits, either it is 0, 1 or 2 and so on. So the task in this case is to recognize and classify the handwritten digits within the image. So whatever you give after learning, you can see the performance uh, P is a, a percentage of digits uh, correctly classified. So how many of the digits classified correctly? That is a performance. The input to this particular system or the experience is a database of digits with uh, given classifications. So database of digits we have to give something like this. And along with that, we need to give what is the classification, whether it is zero, whether it is one and so on. So if you go on giving uh, this particular database more and more, uh, the definitely the performance of that particular model will go on improving. 
if it improves we can say that the system is learning otherwise we say that the system is not learning let's consider one more example a robot driving a learning problem in this case the task is driving on public four lane highway using uh, vision sensors that is the task of this particular problem the performance in this case will be average distance traveled before a robot has made an error so that will be the performance the experience is uh, a sequence of images uh, and steering commands recorded while observing human driver so at the time of training uh, human driver uh, will drive that particular vehicle uh, based on his uh, uh, can say that inputs like uh, what he is doing when he come across an obstacle in front uh, when there is no obstacle in front definitely he will increase the speed if something comes in front he may go left he may go right something like that he will do all those particular thing will be noted and with the help of that the robot will drive that particular vehicle so initially uh, let us say that if you train that particular robot with some uh, driving experience uh, it may make some mistake after certain distance but if you go on training that particular robot again and again definitely the average distance traveled before it makes an error will be more in that case so definitely it will learn uh, through experience in this case we'll take one more example that is uh, checkers uh, learning problem in this case uh, playing checkers will be the task uh, percentage of games won by against the opponent will be the performance how much amount of uh, games won against the opponent will be the performance and uh, experience will be playing practice games against itself so what happens here is the model will play against itself again and again and it will notify all those particular uh, uh, moves so that uh, it can be used in the real world so initially let us assume that it has played against itself for 10 times uh, it may uh, in in reality it may win around 50 percent of the games let's say 50 percent now uh, if if it game plays uh, the game again and again around 50 times definitely the performance will increase it may win around 60 percent of the games against uh, against the opponents so as and when it plays again uh, against itself uh, more and more games the performance will go on increasing in that case also so that is how actually you can define a machine learning uh, for this particular problem definition now comes the very important question why machine learning is so popular the there are mainly three reasons why machine learning has become so popular uh, in recent times machine learning is a not uh, new topic actually it, it was uh, evolved a long back but it has gained a lot of uh, attention in the recent time the reasons is uh, th there is a high amount of data uh, produced every uh, produced by every applications for example if you consider a uh, facebook whatsapp or any other social media websites a lot of amount of uh, data is generated every day uh, that particular data can be used to analyze as well as make some better uh, uh, can say that uh, business decisions so that is the thing is happening in re uh, recent time so that is the main uh, reason you can say the second reason is uh, the increase of computational power in the earlier days uh, the computation power was very costly that was existing but it was very costly nowadays uh, the uh, the commodity hardware has become so cheap and uh, the power has also increased like anything because of that we can run any kind of machine learning algorithm on the uh, the different set of hardware available now so that's another reason why machine learning has become so popular the third one is uh, uh, because uh, of availability of data as well as the computational power people are developing a better and better algorithms every day so as and when you develop better algorithms you achieve better results if you achieve better results there is a, a business gain happens in every organizations as and when the business gain occurs definitely the people will invest a lot of money on this particular thing and again new algorithms will evolve every day so these are the three main reasons why machine learning has become a buzzword or you can say that uh, so popular in recent years and uh, whatever the applications we are using one or the other way we are using machine learning for example usually we use uh, uh, mail application like gmail we are using whatsapp we are using e-commerce websites video sharing platforms variable fitness trackers uh, like fitbit or intelligent home assistant like google home and so on everywhere machine learning is present 
for example if you see google google's gmail uh, whenever you get an email that will be classified as either spam or a non spam so that's a very uh, important uh, task done by the gmail and behind that a uh, machine learning is working e-commerce website for example if you visit a e-commerce website initially you will be given some set of products but if you go on visiting some uh, particular product related to that you will be getting the recommendations and so on so that is nothing but the machine learning over here video sharing platforms like youtube netflix and so on initially you will, it will ask you about your interest this that and all based on that it will go on recommending the uh, the can say the video content and so on so all these things uh, use machine learning uh, heavily because of that they are becoming so popular in industry now what are the applications or where we can use uh, machine learning machine learning is used everywhere that's the one thing i would like to say but uh, as a part of discussion i will try to put some uh, applications over here these are not the only applications where machine learning is used as i said earlier machine learning is used everywhere it is not only in computer science industry it is used in mechanical industry it is used in civil industry everywhere the machine learning is being used in recent times some of the applications are uh, recognizing the patterns for example uh, while recognizing the facial identities or facial expressions we can use machine learning handwritten or spoken word recognition medical image recognition for example this machine learning is heavily used in healthcare industry where a uh, lot of images were scanned and based on the image patterns uh, the disease will be recognized and so on and based on that the remedy is also suggested over here so that's a very interesting part of uh, machine learning uh the second one is like uh, generating the patterns for example uh, generating the image or motion sequences uh, as and when a particular person go on dictating some scenario based on that images will be generated as well as motion sequences it is heavily used in uh, uh, can say that uh, crime detection and so on uh to regenerate a crime scene or you can say that to to uh, generate that particular uh, uh, the person's image and so on recognizing anomalies uh, credit card fraud detection uh, can say that uh, insurance fraud detections uh, can say that anomalies uh, in uh, nuclear power plant anomalies in car engine and so on if you want to detect such kind of things definitely we can go ahead with something called as machine learning prediction this is uh, again a very important uh, uh, application where we can use machine learning uh, usually we try to a predict what will happen in future for example a stock price prediction what will be the stock price for a particular share tomorrow or after 10 minutes after 5 minutes so if you want to predict such kind of things definitely machine learning comes into picture what will be the currency rate uh, uh, today what will be the currency rate tomorrow what will be the currency rate after a week and if you want to predict such kind of things definitely machine learning comes into picture so these are all the applications of machine learning uh, as again i will tell you these are not the only applications of machine learning machine learning is used everywhere these are some of the applications i have just discussed as a part of this particular video i hope uh, you understood what is machine learning why machine learning is so popular and what are some of the applications of machine learning if you like this video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching